I'm going to have to say, even though when I talk some smack about tasty green, <clears throat> pardon me, it's uh, not been too bad. Now this jewel here is a max pack and it's been my star performer this this spring and early summer it makes loads of little pickler sizes probably better performing than any of the others this is Sumter. Uh, it makes pretty cucumbers, but uh, seems to be susceptible to something. And then, I'll be honest, I don't remember what this cucumber here is. It's one I planted late because something didn't come up in that spot i don't remember what seeds i put now this soyo is a japanese cucumber and it makes they're, they taste good don't get me wrong but they're so spiny i mean it's like a cactus and they're ridged and they tend to want to do this where they get more bulbous at the bottom I've not had any that are like uniform from top to bottom but it makes I mean it makes plenty of fruit and they're kind of cool looking but again already wanting to get a little more bulbous at the bottom um, the, the muncher here has just been mediocre it makes a little pickler size with very minuscule spines so and medium producer dragon's egg was um it it makes a good cucumber you see it seems to be susceptible as well to something um they don't ever get to be massive cucumbers but this is about what they do sometimes a little bigger it doesn't like to climb. I've had to force it by constantly attaching it up to the trellis. <clears throat> There's a pretty good one. And this one was the <clears throat> Burpless Beauty. It makes really beautiful cucumbers not a lot of them um i've picked it so but they're fairly uniform a little bigger at the bottom than the top very mildly spiny not bad at all and they'll this when you pull the spines off they look like a supermarket cucumber they're really pretty 